I'm going to jump right into what products I'm using. While I'm in the shower, I'd like to exfoliate with the Up and Up Blemish Controlling Apricot Scrub. I apply that all over my face and really smooth out the surface before I put any makeup products on it. And then for my acne, I use this pink little face scrubber that I got from CVS and I apply one or two pumps of Clean and Clear Acne Triple Clear Cleanser. I apply that all over my face and when I get out the shower and I dry my face, I go in with Oxy Maximum Action Spot Treatment on any blemishes or pimples I have. I allow that to dry on my face. It takes about 10 or 15 minutes, so sometimes I do my eyebrows while I'm waiting for that to dry. And then I wash it off and I moisturize with Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion. And I apply that again all over my face a good amount because it's really lightweight and hydrating. And then I primed today with the Touch Insole no pore blim primer for foundation i'm using the sephora make no mistake foundation and concealer stick in the color oak i apply two to three stripes on every section of my face so both of my cheeks my chin and my forehead Because this is a creamy foundation stick and not a liquid, I will not be using a sponge. Instead, I'm going in with a Real Techniques buffing brush. Very softly and slowly, I blend from my chin up. Although I could totally apply another layer of the Sephora stick foundation, I'm going to go in with a liquid foundation and a damp beauty blender. I'm using the L'Oreal Pro Glow 24 hour foundation on my cheekbones for a little bit of glow, but also for a little bit more full coverage along my redness and my freckles on my nose and cheekbones. For a little bit of bronze, I'm going to use Sephora Make No Mistake Foundation Stick in the color Chestnut. I apply it on my cheek. I make sure it's extremely blended out. I take my time. I go real softly from the top of my ear down to towards my lips. And I blend that out very well before applying product on my nose or any other part of my face. I do not want to apply product on too many parts of my face and then go back and blend because I don't want the foundation to start to dry because it makes it very much harder to blend.
Now with the same Sephora Pro Flawless Airbrush, I'm going to put just one stripe across my forehead and blend it out extremely well. This brush is a little bit more on the pricey end, but I think that I've seen a difference in my contour. It's not patchy. It's extremely flawless. I guess that's the point of it being an airbrush. Blend it out from one side of my forehead to the other and a circular motion into my hairline. Now to conceal under my eye and on my forehead, I'm going to use Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer in the color Very Fair. I apply just a little bit by my nose and in my inner corner. I don't apply too much because I don't want it to cake up and start creasing before I can set it. I'm using a Real Techniques contour brush to put some powder where I feel I get oily or where I see creasing. So underneath my nose and by my smile lines and a little bit on my chin. I'm using a flat side of a dry beauty blender to clean up my contour. I don't consider it baking because I'm not using a loose powder or a translucent powder. So it's not really brightening up the area because I brush it off right away. For mascara, I'm using the Revlon Volume and Length Magnified Mascara, and I'm also using the Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte Mascara. I apply several layers, and then I curl them in between layers and comb them out between layers. I go in with some highlighter, and also I set my face with the Sephora Beauty Amplifier set and refresh spray and that is my foundation routine <laughs> 